All right. This looks like a nice spot to sit and talk about my Nikon F2. Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I am in the middle of nowhere and I thought this would be a nice spot for you to come and join me while I talk to you about my Nikon F2. So this camera I got on Facebook Marketplace for 300 bucks. I was mainly interested in buying the five rolls of film that came with it. It came with this cool little Kodak canister as well for storing film. Um, and the camera was an added bonus. So 300 bucks for that whole package was pretty good to me. So I went and picked that up. After I picked it up, it kind of sat on the shelf for six months. I didn't shoot it mainly because the, uh, the viewfinder, it was broken, so it didn't have an inbuilt meter. So after about six months, I picked up a brand new DP1 viewfinder, metered viewfinder, and here we are shooting with it. Today I've loaded up some Kodak Gold 200 in the camera, and here I am at Bull's Head out in the Magi National Park. Beautiful day out, it's actually getting quite warm, and I'll take you along, give you some thoughts, show you some photos, and just have a good time taking some pictures with this camera. Let's go. So the Nikon F2, Nikon F2, however you want to pronounce it, uh, feels really good in the hand. Very nice and all metallic body, so it really feels like it's going to withstand anything. Um, I'm used to shooting on a Canon AE-1 as my 35mm SLR, and that's got a lot of plastic components on the bottom and the top. Um, the Nikon F2, full metal body, definitely has some heft to it so you know it's going to withstand a lot all the dials and all the um, knobs on this camera um, have a nice clicky feel to them as well the shutter sounds awesome but it's not too loud which is kind of nice if you are looking to do a bit of street photography with it the fact that you can see your aperture and your shutter speed while you're looking through the viewfinder is very handy with the Nikon F2 you can just change all the dials, change your aperture, all that sort of stuff without needing to take your eye off the viewfinder, which is very handy in situations where you don't have the time. One of my favorite things about this camera is that you can pop off the viewfinder and it becomes a waist level viewfinder. So you push these two buttons, bang. You can now see through the top and it looks really cool first of all um, but the benefit of this is that if you need to shoot low you can actually get your camera down low um, of course you'd want to meter the situation first and then you can bring your camera down lower and get some cool foreground opens up some opportunities for different camera angles when you're out shooting and to pop back on it simply just clicks back on very cool so there's a bunch of different viewfinder op options for the Nikon F2 I just personally prefer the eye level metered finders another handy feature on this camera system is the timer which is right here on the front of the camera you'll simply pull the lever press the button that's revealed when you pull the lever you'll hear it time down and then it'll click. Opening up the film door for this camera is also pretty cool compared to other SLR cameras that I've shot with. 
Uh, underneath it, there's actually this little lever system where you flip up one part of the lever and then twist it, and then the back door, the film door, opens up for you to be able to load and unload your film. Small little feature, but I think it's actually a better way to make sure you don't accidentally open up the film door on your camera. Um, other SLRs I've shot with, you would pull this winder up all the way, boop, and then the door could open. Um, things can easily get caught underneath this winder, so having a separate latch to open up the film door is actually a good fail safe for accidentally exposing your film. Another handy little thing um, that helps conserve the battery in the camera itself is that the camera's meter won't actually start metering until you pull the advance lever forward slightly, revealing this little red dot. Nobody ever wants to be caught out with a flat battery. So this is a very handy feature. On the topic of battery, this camera actually functions without a battery as well. So if you are in situations where you are without battery, don't worry because you can still shoot this camera. Apart from the photos that I've shot on this trip, I have taken it to other places. I, I took it to Bermagui with my wife. We had a little weekend away. This is actually where I shot the first few rolls of film through this camera, and I think they turned out pretty well. One of the rolls of film that I shot was uh, Kodak Gold 200 once again, and a really cool double X uh, black and white film that Eki guy in Melbourne re-spooled. Never shot cinema film, so really cool results from this one. Overall, this camera's been a real pleasure to shoot. It's very refreshing shooting with a new camera body. I'm very used to shooting on my AE-1 and this has been a great um, way to reintroduce my love for 35mm SLRs. Uh, I definitely can see this replacing my AE-1 as my primary 35mm SLR, um, purely because it's different, it's new, it looks great, and the features on it just seem to outshine everything I've shot in terms of 35mm SLRs so far. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and comment what your favourite photo was from the few rolls that I've put through the camera so far. Um, I definitely enjoy making these videos, it's just been a while since I've created the last one. If you haven't seen the other one, I'll leave it up here. I did it on the Pentax K1000. Um, but yeah, let me know what your favourite photo was from these rolls of film that I've put through and let me know what your thoughts are on the Nikon F2. See you in the next one.